Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 5th of 2022. Well, it is titled a molten galaxy Einstein ring. So what do we see here? Well, in this case, we see what is called a, a Einstein ring or a very close approximation to one. And this is an example of what we call gravitational lensing. And this is a consequence of Einstein's general theory of relativity. And what it says is that a large mass distorts the space around it. And light will therefore have to travel through that distorted space and will not travel in straight lines. So a galaxy that lines up in the distance right behind another galaxy will then have normally you'd think it would be invisible, you wouldn't be able to see it through the galaxy. But because of the gravity of the intervening galaxy, the light is bent and travels different parts. And then we their paths and then we see the galaxy in a distorted shape around the other galaxy. Now, if everything was perfectly lined up, we would actually get a ring, a perfect ring around the other galaxy. And that's if everything were exactly lined up. However, the distribution of mass within the galaxy is not uniform and nothing is lined up perfectly. But this is pretty close to being an Einstein ring. And you can see one big section towards the lower left that wraps around this galaxy and another smaller section to the upper right showing that the alignment is very close, but not quite perfect. So we can see multiple images uh, if the uh, if the galaxy here is if is the galaxies are lined up very well. And here we do get multiple images of the same galaxy. Now we see the distortion. That's one sign of the gravitational lensing. But how do we know they're the same galaxy and not two distant galaxies? Well, we could take a spectrum of it. We could observe the spectrum and see that indeed it is the same galaxy. So what does this help us with? Well, this helps us to measure the, ga the, de the mass of the galaxy. So when we look at this galaxy in the foreground, it's doing the lensing. It is its gravity that is modifying the path that the light takes. The more it modifies that path, the greater the mass. So it allows us to determine the mass of that galaxy. And one of the things that we find is that there is far more matter there than what we can account for with what we see with our telescopes. We see some visible light. We can also make measurements in radio waves and x-rays to pick up other types of matter that are normally not visible with ordinary visible light. And we find that even once we take all of that into account, there is a lot more matter, not just a little bit, but 50 sometimes 100 times the amount of mass has to be present to explain the lensing that we see than we can possibly account for with all the stars and gas and dust within the galaxy itself. And this leads us to the concept of dark matter, which is present in almost all galaxies that we study. We see evidence that there is more or less dark matter, generally very significant amounts within all galaxies that we look at. And that is helping us to better understand the entire structure of the universe, because it turns out that the matter that we're looking at is only a very small fraction of the actual total total amount of matter within the universe. So trying to understand what this dark matter is, it can't be seen. We cannot see it with visible light or x rays or gamma rays or radio waves. It does not give off any type of radiation like that. The only way we detect it is through its gravitational effects. So trying to learn that is telling us about most of the mass of the entire universe. So that was our picture of the day for July 5th of 2022. It was titled a molten galaxy Einstein ring. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be star streamers. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class. <laughs>